You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a good friend of mine here, uh, all the way from Yarmouth, Massachusetts, Barry Clayman. Barry, welcome. Nice, nice to, to see you. Nice to see you again, Mark. Uh, Barry, you have been involved in Rotary for a long time, past district governor. Yeah. Your current um, title is the president of the Rotary Community Corps. Finish well, the rest of it. Rotary Community Corps of Adult Day Health Programs, Inc. And what that is, is um, over at New England Sinai, which I think now has a, is it still New England Sinai? It is still New England Sinai, but it's not an independent, not-for-profit hospital. It is now part of Stewart Healthcare. Right. And Stewart is a for-profit. Right. So um, that's the differential. Right. And they have an adult day health program across the street. Yes, in a separate building, but part of the Sinai Hospital complex itself. And uh, they've, it's been in existence for many years. And uh, it provides assistance to families who would like not to have to put their family members into a nursing home. It gives the ability to have a family member brought to the adult day health program at the hospital. They're given breakfast and lunch. Uh, they have physical activity, social activity, and at the end of the day, they go home, right. which is one side of the coin that is extremely beneficial to the specific client. The other side of the coin is the effect on the family. Right. They do not have to put their family member into a nursing home, and yet they can feel comfortable that during the day, they can work, they can shop, they can do whatever they feel is necessary for the family to function, and they don't have to worry about the family member. Well, I did go over and tour it when my dad got sick. That was one of the options we had. It, 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 it didn't work out because he needed more than just right. temporary care. It was clean. Yeah. It was bright. Nice people over there. So what Rotary Community Corps does is you guys get together and gals to raise money to help pay for the costs because yeah. there's, a, there's a daily cost. It's not all covered under insurance and stuff like right. that. So... There is, um, there is a daily cost, a per day cost. It depends on the type of care needed. If it's basic care, it, it's $60 a day. If it's complex care, it's $75 a day. And there is private care where a family can afford to pay those costs for their family member to attend. And as long as they meet the physical qualifications to become a, a client there, they're accepted in and the family pays. Then you have people in the community who just can't afford the per day cost, but also their income is above right. what Mass Health would provide coverage for. And those are the people that we're able to address. So we raise funds uh, to provide the per day cost. We provide two days a week mm -hmm. uh, every month. And we've had many clients who have uh, been in our program for multiple years. And um, it works out well for everybody. And as long as we have the support from foundations and Rotarians, and I will say, if we get back to it with time, that this all stemmed from the Brockton Rotary Club. So um, it's an excellent thing to be a part of. And you get personal satisfaction by able, being able to help a family that can certainly use the benefits. And it's extremely important that people not have to go into nursing homes if they can function at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you're doing a walk Yes. coming up the end of the month. Tell yeah. us about the date, the time, the place. I know it's in Brockton. I think it's D.W. Field. Yes. It's our annual walk. It's at D.W. Field on September th Sunday, September 30. This is the second year we'll be at DW Field. The people who participated last year really enjoyed walking the route. It's a little over three miles mm -hmm. and um, very comfortable. And um, uh, we, we have sponsorships come in. We are on Facebook. And um, all in all, it does very well. And uh, we're able to supplement our financial needs. Uh, as a result of the walk. And the Rotary Club's in the area. I know Brockton has a team coming in. I'm yes. over in Bridgewater. We're, we're working on it. I might end up back on the Brockton team. But you mentioned before, 
Brockton Rotary helped start it, but the, the, the area Rotary Clubs, you were in the Sharon Rotary Club before with Dave Clifton yeah. and others, and Sharon was involved, and yeah. Stoughton was involved, right, and a right. whole bunch when, of them. When um, I was district governor in 2000, 2001, and there was outreach from the Adult Day Health Program at the Sinai Hospital to the Brockton Rotary Club. The president of the Rotary Club at that time, Ted Ballastock, called me as the governor wanting to know if there's any way that Rotary could assist the families who would like to be able to participate in the adult health program. So uh, we applied through the Brockton Club to Rotary International and we were given the ability to create a Rotary Community Corps. Now, the benefit to the hospital is the public relations aspect. Sure. Here's the hospital being s supported in an effort through an international organization, Rotary International. And um, so that's how it began. And uh, we never thought that we would reach the stage we have. We have now provided approximately 10,000 scholarship days. We began in 2001. It's now 2018, so you're talking 17 years. And the value of those scholarship days approximates out to five and a half, five, five $550,000. And um, the clients that we're able to assist have uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, and some other medical situations where they just can't function on their own, but they can come into the adult day health program and go home in the evening. So the message here is two things. It's one, Get involved in the walk yeah. or sponsor somebody. You probably know a Rotarian wherever you might live in the greater Brockton area. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're a Rotarian, the whole board, they're all Rotarians, they're volunteers. Not the entire board. Okay. But you're a president, but you don't get paid. And one thing about Rotary is all the money you That's raise right. goes to the cost. That's right. We have 12 member board. We don't have any administrative staff. Our relationship is with the the, uh, as a contractor, the, how, the, the families contract with us, we approve their, their ability to go to the, event, to, the, to the adult day health program and we will pay the per day cost, but the hospital has to say that they are physically able to come into the program. Right. And um, uh, as I say, it's worked out very well. Um, we have a board that has as I say, it's 12 members, one minute, and um, we have quite a few Rotarians on the board, specifically from the Brockton Club and the Stoughton Club, but we also have family members right. who've had their uh, family members in the program. We have one of our board members, her sister was in the program for 14 years. Well, we're going to be there with the camera. Right. I'm going to walk, yeah. walk and talk, and I don't know if I'm running the camera too, but um, they gave me the high sign, so I'm going to say and final point, real quick, 10 seconds. Just come out, meet me. Come over and say hello. And I'll have a megaphone probably, but I'll be glad to give you a hug. Thanks, Barry. Thank you, Mark. Always, Always appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.